if you are new here, I'm Kanyeti, and if you are already watching this channel, welcome back. Today we are going to watch fifth episode of Anime Spy and Family. So let's get to it. Let's go. go. All right. So many bad omens for the bracelet black cat. <laughs> Dang. Oh no, poor baby. Ew. Yes, yeah, so of course that's important for them too. Yes, that is very important for peace. Uh, why do we need to know the color of his underwear? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did they? Why they're so scared though? He said it's not there, so wait. Their, their name is not there. They didn't pass. But the dude just... He, he, oh, he just assumes that they should have passed. Because he's like the best spy. Oh yeah, that, that, they float the figures because I was sure that they passed. Um, because uh, they're like three guys uh, making the decision to against one. They should be good. I don't know. Also... <laughs> Uh, while I have the chance, first of all, I tried to go like with the school theme. I actually found this polo short in my dress. And I thought, oh, wait, this is like perfect. And secondly, <laughs> I uh, wrote down the instructors. And when I got time to kind of look at the little info, I noticed how... Uh, Walter Evans and Murdoch Swan both had like free personality traits, something like re real, real personality traits. And for Henry Henderson, we had one personality trait, elegant. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. That's, that, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> but yeah, on the topic of the episode now, like what the heck, maybe it will be like some special admission because the anime will just, I think, stop if we don't get admitted in a school. I'm pretty sure we should go to the school. Uh, so le let's just see how it unfolds, I suppose. Oh, gosh. See, like they are dejected. They didn't find the name here. <laughs> can he can create the special admission for them additional like if someone drops out uh, Yeah, I, I, okay, this is normal practice. <laughs> I think he's just using it. He's using it. It's not the real reason. He's just bullshitting. Yor is thinking, okay, I just need to kill one person. <laughs> that is so horrible. But I, I bet, yeah, that's exactly like her thoughts. I, I, that's, a, that's what I expected. <laughs> no, 
No, that, that was natural drain of what I'm sorry, Mr. Sacrifice. <laughs> So we should be good. What? Ah, so he might get reprimanded. Maybe he could find like more dirt on him to make him finally fire be fired. Ah, three three days late or thirty three days late? It was kind of unclear, <laughs> to be honest. H how long is the waiting period? I I I'll assume it's three days. That was fast. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, she's so cute. Great job. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, the informant I don't remember the name of. Hello. Frank, thank you, man. Thank you. What nice food? Nah, she is already drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? <laughs> I wonder what it is. Maybe this will be like a chill episode. Ooh. Like intermission between more serious things happening. Princess Honey, that's cute. I love the style. He is like the Phantom Thief. Oh. Wait, what do you mean? You want to like replicate it? Why not? She wants to do like kind of like a theater play. I think that's very not harmful. <laughs> I have the feeling that's what we are doing in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thanks. He he's vouching for her. That's nice. I feel like he's also excited about this. <laughs> oh, cute. But that's like... She took it seriously, but that's actually something that... That we are doing for fun. <laughs> yeah. 
Your really likes wine. <laughs> Oh, adorable. Dude, you're still drunk, <laughs> shit. in a bottle <laughs> oh my gosh <sighs> that, dry, that wine must be really tasty oh, oh that's exciting so how are we gonna like if we have to replicate that do we have a costumes like what, what what's the plan who is going to be a princess here drunk princess <laughs> It looks like Disney Castle. That's so... Oh, that's so pretty. So many lights. And near water too. Damn. <laughs> no, sorry. But how is he going to create enemies out of nowhere? How? <laughs> oh, like imagine you are being called an extremely important emergency operation mission rank S. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if she refuses to go to school and the mission fails, I guess that is really important, right? So, <laughs> they have to do it, right? Uh, though she wouldn't decline anyway, though. Ah, shit. I would feel a bit guilty at, at, at his place. <sighs> <laughs> yes, it is all according to plan. Okay. Oh, she's the princess, of course. Oh my gosh. I thought she would want to be a spy. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, and Mama. I guess you could see the straining. <sighs> okay. They disappeared in an instant. So Mama is also on the side of evil. Please push. Whoa. That is so cool. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, the views are so pretty. Okay. How is he supposed to know? <laughs> Have fun with her family. That was so rigged. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Oh, that's cute. They are like prepared, so I feel like a lot. Whoa. <laughs> He's so serious. Oh my gosh, that's her drawings in the background. Music in the background too. Holy shit. <laughs> I bet you didn't even try <laughs> number one fan. <laughs> oh no, save me. <laughs> oh my gosh, there. They are firing this colorful. Oh, <laughs> mm, nice. I think he's getting very into his role. <laughs> oh, the, 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 I, like, I love how this place is so colorful. This is so fun. Oh, and I love so much that we get to have this kind of intermission episode. I like this kind of episode. <laughs> This is like Phantom Thieves from manga inspired by Arsène Lupin. I really love this kind of style too. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, that's your job. You're good at it. Go. <laughs> Oh, acting skills. Yes, yes, g g g give it your all. Okay. Drunk fighting style. Drunk fighting style. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, she. She also integrated in her role very well. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, do you expect her to use magic? <laughs> oh, it's because she's drunk. <laughs> Is she asleep? Okay, that's he's like, yeah, no, you are not an opponent. No. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, so tragic. <laughs> oh, fireworks! <gasps> oh, I love fireworks. It's so pretty. Yeah, exactly my fault. So sparkly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, you don't like fireworks? Oh, a falling star. Nice touch. Okay. Oh, is that a price for everything he did? Oof. So this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, everything for peace, right? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, this was fun. Okay, I think I had a, like a lot of time to express all my thoughts in this episode. That was uh, that was really cool. I, I really love this kind of atmosphere and the colors and little details, everything and fireworks in the end. It was all so precious and like. Uh, it gave us a good opportunity to celebrate our success we got into the school we deserve a little celebration i honestly expected this episode we already like go into school but it's actually like, a nice surprise uh, that we get a little bit of this like downtime and uh, another family bonding experience but i think they shouldn't give wine to your too often <laughs> might become an alcoholic i think she was a bit too into it but yeah and we i was reminded of frankie's name so also i i was it was interesting how frankie was all like i feel like he also really wanted he was really into that idea he also wanted to have fun i feel like that was like half of it but also how he just wanted tanya also to like have a fun time and uh, also really did a lot for her and supported her i thought that was also really sweet like he's kind of as well a part of this found family so i don't know this is this <laughs> this anime is too adorable it's like uh, my cuteness meter is overflowing <laughs> but also super funny so when I like, watch it, uh, my cheeks out, <laughs> but I enjoyed it a lot. And yeah, I think um, not much to say about this episode. Uh, we got in and I think, yeah, that the practice of this kind of waiting list. I mean, it's named a bit differently in Russian, but yeah, basically you have a list of accepted students, uh, but if one of them decides to go to another place because usually when you and uh, submit your documents you submit in several places i when i was going to university i submitted i think to five universities but i had in my mind the one that i actually want to get in the others were kind of backup plans and oh my gosh why is this everything so blurry and um 
basically the one that I wanted I did get into it so um, if I pass I didn't even check to be honest <laughs> if I passed in one of the other ones um, and I didn't submit like my f final documents by the due date uh, that I was supposed to sub uh, then the next person who is kind of for example they are taking like 60 people right um, uh, to the course oh, well it, it's also different because we have like people who are uh, going uh, they don't have to pay for the education like, uh, f uh, f like government uh, paid students and then students who are paying for their education and i think in my university there were around like i don't know yeah i think 60 um uh, 60 students they will be admitted like f f government paid for free i just went in there after all the like we also had by the way like interview exam so i don't know so, some things are kind of uh, feeling a bit close to me uh, there was an interview so to say but i felt like before that uh obvious well i submitted my general like russian english exam that you do after school but then uh, there was the first test i sent my uh, translation to them uh, then um, the like translation of like short stories right to show how like my skills are with translation because that's what i was applying to well i was also applying to poetry and prose and then the next one, I was given um, points for that and I passed poetry and in translation. But then I have to choose like which one I want to pursue for the next test. And I chose translation because like how am I going to earn money with poetry to be honest, like let's be honest. And then the, we had to write like an essay and... Uh, uh, no, we had to write a short story and translate um, a, an excerpt from a book. Uh, so I did that. I got high points for that. And then we had an interview. And I feel like by the time of the interview, they already decided who they want to accept and who they don't want to accept. There weren't like really serious questions at that interview. I think the only like interesting thing is that they ask like what kind of books I like. You know, some uh, pretty simple stuff where I'm from uh, because i'm from saint petersburg and the university they, it was in moscow so they were like oh you have uh, saint petersburg accent and i'm like what the heck is that supposed to mean and uh, my master asked like what kind of books do i ah, he asked if i like stephen king and they said oh i love i love horror and i love stephen king and i thought that was really impressive that five years later when i already finished university me and like my group we came to visit him and he was like oh anya i remember you like stephen king i was given um his uh, new book in english and uh, i already read it uh, something like you can have it because he and i was so impressed that he remembered like after five years what i said <laughs> in the interview that that he he's really nice so there was an interview but it wasn't as serious as they had and then yeah you go in and um me and my mom we also had to like travel between saint petersburg and moscow to go to all this like um interview and everything and so we asked like so we don't have to like travel back and forth can you tell us now like what place are we in where are we standing and i think out of 60 students i was on the place like 20 something so they said like you, there's no way you are not getting in so you can just leave your documents and go and um, that was it but for example if i being on like 20th place for yes i would say look you know i want to go to another university and so this place kind of becomes vacant and the list moves up and so a person who would be like 61 61st how to say it then well anyways <laughs> I, <clears throat> that person would move up take the 60th place 
and uh, be accepted. I'm sorry, that was a very long story to just say, oh yeah, like, yeah, this waiting list, they do exist, and I'm like, I'm familiar with that, but I just didn't know that they called like that. I'm just <laughs> telling you my life story. Uh, but yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe, you, you know, I, I like to talk about myself. <laughs> But yeah, I think that would be it for this episode and for my life story for today. Uh, so please share your thoughts on this episode. I mean, why not? Uh, on uh, your university stories also. Uh, but yeah, about the anime, of course, if you share your thoughts about the anime, do it without spoilers, of course. And um, yeah, in the comments down below. So thank you for watching and see ya.